Beef scalp food and clementine and daddy. And this is a special edition of the Wreck It Daddy Show. I've got a special book here, Unicorn Yoga. I picked it up at the library for you guys here at Fort Jackson. And we're going to go through some awesome stuff on here. All right, you ready? This is Unicorn Yoga. And I'm going to do the exercises. you got to do them with me, so make sure you got some room, okay? Unicorn Yoga. Welcome to Unicorn Yoga. Uh, yoga is for everybody. And for everybody, big, small, young, old, the practice makes us strong and graceful. We begin by sitting on our mats, crisscross applesauce in an easy pose. We are mindful and centered. Um, all right, let's try this really quick. I don't think Daddy's going to be able to do this because Daddy's not very stretchy. Hold on. All right, hold on, guys. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, there's something popped. Oh. I can't get my other leg up. Ugh. 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 All right, that's about as best I can do. Um, ouch, ouch, I'm so tight. Oh, oh man, okay, let me, maybe I can do one of the other ones better. That was very painful. All right, here's the next one. Cow pose. Roll onto your hands and knees and take a deep breath in through your nose. Drop your belly and lift your tail and look up. This is the marvelous cow pose. The marvelous cow pose. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it, guys. You ready? Let's see here. Cross applesauce. I'll tell you that. Okay. So that was the cow pose. And now it's time for the cat pose. Meow. Breathe out. Now push to the ground away and arch your back. Now uh, you are a meow in the cat pose. Cat cow will help us move with our breath as we continue our practice. Okay, so let's see here. This is how you do it. You see they're looking kind of back on their Back behind there. Let's see if we can do it here. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Are you ready? Here we go, guys. Oh, good job. Oh, that's a good stretch. Oh, all right. Man, oh man. Oh, this is getting tiring. Holy cow. Okay, so that's a cat pose. Ooh, the tiger pose. Your cat becomes a tiger pose. Ow. Now it's time to take a roar, and it's time to build balance and flexibility. Extend one arm out as far as you can go, and kick your opposite leg back. Then touch your knee and elbow together under your tummy. Oh, gosh, that's, that's going to be crazy. And now the other side. Okay, so you guys get that? I'm going to demonstrate. We're going to see if we can get it here. All right. I'll put that down. All right, this is going to be crazy. I hope I can do this one. All right, so opposite arm, opposite leg. So if it's like this, it's like that, see? And then you're going to take your elbow to your knee, guys. You ready? Yeah, like that. Let's do it one more time. Yeah. All right, now we'll switch. Yeah, knee to elbow. Yeah. Oh, the tiger pose. Right. That one, so we did tiger pose. Now it's time for child's pose. Sit back on your feet, slowly bend forward, touching your forehead to your mat. Stretch your arms and fingertips out, keeping your uh, palms on the ground. Child's pose will help you concentrate. It always works for me. What's that guy doing? That doesn't look like child's pose to me. Down like that. I think I can do this one. This one looks like it'll be pretty easy. You guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> Oh, oh, Daddy, it's very tight. He's very tight, like a tight tiger. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, whoop. Did you hear that? I hope you didn't. That's not a part of child's pose. <laughs> oh, all right, good job. All right, I hope you did all that except for the fart. That was awful. All right, so... 
Um, what's next? Downward facing dog position. Tuck your toes down and press hard into your fingers. Lift your tail high into the air and straighten your legs. You are an upside down V or a downward facing dog pose. Woof! Do you feel the energy rushing through your body? I hope you do. Let's see here. We've got a couple more. So downward dog. You guys ready? Here we go. Downward dog. Oh, man. Let's see. Oh, I didn't show you the picture. i got to show you the picture first. All right, so there's the downward dog. Up on your tippy toes. All right. Let me see if Daddy can do it now. All right. Here we go. Here. There. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is good. This is real good. Oh, there's another one. Oh. All right. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, man, it's giving Daddy a good workout. It's a good stretch. All right. Downward dog pose. Oh, so, see, they parted. Okay, I'm doing it right. See, they parted. I'm doing it right. I just parted the last two exercises. I'm doing it right. Maybe you can part, too. Just like that. Forward fold. Ooh. Daddy, I don't think he's going to be able to do this one. Tiptoe forward until your feet are between your head hands. Hang freely and make this pose your own. Touch the ground, put your nose to your knees, wrap your arms around your legs. Any way you do it, you're strengthening your legs in a forward uh, fold pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, awesome. All right. Let's see. If, I don't know. I'm kind of scared to do this one, guys. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. You ready? Oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh. Oh, 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 man, I'm so tight. Oh, breathe. <sighs> okay. Oh, man, that was rough. Okay. So that was the forward fold pose, which we just did. Now it's time for the plank pose. Oh, I think you guys could do this one. Plant your hands on the mat and hop to step back as far as you can with both feet. Make a straight line from your ankles to the tip of your head. You are in a plank pose. You might feel as if your arms and legs are doing all the work, but focus on your core. Yeah, the muscles that you use to go poop in the spine as they get nice and strong. Gosh, I could stay this way all day long. I don't know about that, but we'll try. None of these poses I feel like I could stay all day. So, anyway, let's try it here. Here we go. Plank pose. Yeah, you gonna jump that? Yeah, just like that. All right. Making those those stomach muscles really really tight. Hey, hey up, hey up, hey up, hey up. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. So next we have got the cobra pose. Lower your belly to the mat and point your toes behind you. It's time to slither into cobra pose. Keep your hands under your shoulders and your arms bent, slowly lifting your head and chest. Okay, so this is a good one. Daddy, I think, can do this one. And you got to make a snake noise. Like, yeah, yeah, there we go. You know what a snake's favorite subject is. That's right, history. All right, let's try it here. I think we can do it. All right, cobra pose. Here we go. You got to put your feet down on the bottom of the ground. And oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm a snake. I'm a snake. Oh, man. Oh, that's really uncomfortable. Oh, it's probably not uncomfortable for you guys because you're so flexible and your kids make your snake noises. need to do this more often. It's going to be healthy for me to do this. All right, so that's the cobra pose. Here we go. Let's see what else we got here. We've got the upward facing dog position. Oh gosh, this looks really crazy. So straighten your arms and legs, hold your body up with your hands and tops of your feet. Throw your head back and howl at the moon in an upward dog facing position. Oh, see? So it's kind of like the cobra pose, but all right, you guys ready to try this? You gotta howl like a dog too. You ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Can you do it? Oh, oh gosh, there's a 
times you're going crazy. <laughs> oh man, I think that's my least favorite one, guys. Is the upward facing dog pose. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Relaxation pose. Oh, I definitely can do this. Finally, it's time to take our rest. Lying on your backs without moving a muscle in relaxation pose, we find stillness and peace. Did you know that God is our peace? In the Bible, it says in Isaiah chapter 26 that you, you keep him or her in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon you because he trusts you. You trust in the Lord God forever. The Lord God is an everlasting rock. Right? So lying on your backs without moving a muscle in relaxation pose, we find stillness and peace, quiet body, quiet mind. We reflect on the practice and gather our energy to move through our day. All right. Well, I think... We could do this one. Daddy can do this one. This is probably the easiest one of the day. I've got this. It's just laying on the floor. Are you ready? I can do that. Oh, yeah. That feels good. That feels really good, actually. One more time in. Big breath from your tummy. You ready? Already. Man, well, that was a great book, don't you think? I thought it was great. This has been a special edition of Storytime with Unicorn Yoga. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I love you and I miss you. Let me pray for you really quick. Dear Jesus, thank you for Scout Boone and Clementine. Thank you that you love them, that you see them, that you know them, God. And I just pray for a good night's rest and good sleep and that they don't hurt themselves doing this yoga. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys. Love you.